In 1937, the Royal Air Force selected six essential flight instruments altimeter, airspeed indicator, turn and bank indicator, vertical speed indicator, artificial horizon, and directional gyro heading indicator. This six set or six pack was also adopted by commercial aviation. The airspeed indicator, altimeter, and vertical speed indicator are connected to the pitot-static system. The pitot-static system uses a pitot tube to measure the dynamic pressure created by the forward motion of the aeroplane through the air, and static vents to measure the external barometric pressure. The attitude indicator, heading indicator, and turn coordinator are gyro instruments. A gyroscope is a rotor or wheel which rotates at high speed powered by a vacuum system pump. The gyroscope rotates at high RPM, creating the properties rigidity and precession. The airspeed indicator measures the difference between the dynamic pressure in the pitot tube and the atmospheric pressure in the static vent. Airspeed is displayed in knots as indicated airspeed. The green arc is the normal operating range, the yellow arc the caution speed range and the red line is the never exceed speed or VNE. The attitude indicator, also called the artificial horizon or gyro horizon, displays the orientation of the aircraft relative to the horizon. The altimeter measures the altitude of the aircraft above sea level. The reading is based on barometric pressure. As barometric pressure is constantly changing, the altimeter must be set before each flight and whenever the flying area changes. Above the local transition altitude, the altimeter is set to the standard pressure setting of 1013 millibars or 29.92 inches of mercury. Aircraft altitude is then expressed as a flight level. The hands indicate hundreds, thousands and tens of thousands of feet. The vertical speed indicator is connected to the static air pressure system and displays vertical speed in hundreds of feet per minute. Changing the aircraft's altitude and the rate of change is measured by calibrated standard barometric pressure altitude changes. Altitude and altitude changes are monitored with the altimeter and vertical speed indicator. The heading indicator, also known as the directional gyro or heading gyro, is the principal direction instrument. As the heading indicator is gyroscopically stabilized, unlike the magnetic compass, it is not affected by banks, turns or speed changes. The heading indicator must be set according to the magnetic compass before takeoff and adjusted for precession error at intervals of 15 minutes while in level flight. The numbers each indicate 10 degrees and the markings 5 degree increments. The turn coordinator provides information on the direction and rate of a turn. It also indicates whether the turn is coordinated. A turn is coordinated when the inclinometer or ball is centered. If the ball is not centered, rudder is used to correct for adverse yaw. The turn indicator indicates the rate of turn. A standard rate turn or rate 1 turn produces a rate of turn of 3 degrees per second. Therefore, a 360 degree turn would require 2 minutes, a 180 degree turn 1 minute. A standard rate turn is initiated by holding the turn coordinator symbolic aeroplane wing opposite the left or right index mark. 